I'm Amelie and welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching episode 24 of Guardian. I had to look at the picture because I have forgotten for a moment, but thank God the numbers of Chinese are one of the few things I actually have down. Like, I know them, I look at them and said, oh, that is 24. Perfect. Um, so, episode 23. Let me remember. I saw it a week ago, so... It, it, it some of the details may have been lost. Um, episode twenty three, we have the whole Edixin adventure. Remember that uh, Shunlan and Shunwei and the Chin they have gone to Dixin to find out more information about the Merit Brush, but then they end up getting involved in like a political intrigue of Dixin, if you can call it that. Because the king of Dixing, which is a pretty shitty shop, let me tell you, uh, this guy randomly selects a man to be successful. I say man. It was a, a, an older teenager. And, you know, then he dies. He doesn't drop dead. Somebody kills him. Somebody stabs him. And then we have what I think is probably one of the best moments that I've seen, not only in Guardian, but in all the televisions that I've seen in my whole life. The regent's face contorted in anger. It's, it's, it's just... It, it, it just, I, I have no speech. I, I'm speechless at it. It's speechless. I've been thinking about that for the whole week. It's one of the best things that I like. And I like the fact that it, you know, everything was perfect. The fact that he was actually making the face, the fact that Xiao Shun Lan saw the need to describe it while we were watching it, just in case we didn't get it. Like, uh, uh, you know, just in case I'm going, so going to explain what's happening. It was like, mwah. Chef kiss. I loved it. Um, anyway, that was how the regent was feeling. And they call the regent something else in these uh, subtitles, but I'm going to call it the regent because to me, I think they call like justicia or something like that. No, no, honey, that's the regent. <laughs> that is always going to be the regent. Uh, so that's who I, that's how I call him. Anyway, that ended the adventure. No, wait, they have to discover who the killer is. They discover it. It was some trader that was also working for the palace and who was working for Yisun. They discover it pretty quickly. They do a very, very cool switch off between um, who was it? I think the the guy who is going to be king and uh, Chao Shunlan. I love that part. I love a good switch off. That was very good. And then I think they killed the guy or sacrificed. I don't know. The details are fussy. But one of the things that I like about this episode, uh, at least that part, is that we have a moment with Shen Wei and the Qin, in which the Qin confronts Shen Wei. Because if you remember, uh, the Qin had undergone hypnosis and to remember his past. And he has seen an image of 10,000 years ago with Shen Wei, I think attacking or killing somebody, something like that. So he started to become a little bit too... Uh, mistrustive of is that a word mistrustive that isn't a word that isn't a word uh mistrustful he starts to become mistrustful towards uh shem way um so he goes and tell him you know i i don't trust you and we as the audience know that what he saw was probably Yesun rather than Shen Wei because she, we know that Yesun looks like Shen Wei. We already know it. They are played by the same actor. Um, and I had already said my theory about that. I think Shesun, Yesun and Shen Wei are like the same person divided in two. Because at some point, I think Shen Wei says that he was willing to sacrifice his life to kill Yesun. Like, he said it in a way that it seemed to indicate that if Yesun died, he would die as well. So I think that means that maybe they are very connected. It's not just like they look like or that they are just siblings or something like that. I think there's something more there. So that's my theory anyway. So this guy was working for Yesun. He didn't, you know, he didn't achieve anything. I don't even remember what happened to the guy. I don't know if it killed or they kill him i don't know something it happens something um and then we leave dixon to go back to hawksin i think it's called the the opposite of dixon but i'm not sure uh now once they're back uh, several things happen but the one that interests me the most is the i don't even call it would you call it a confrontation i don't know Shen Wei and Xiao Shunlan, they have uh, an argument because Shunlan discover, Yun, uh, Yunlan discovers that Shen Wei 
to be able to cure his eyesight, he had to um, kind of give his life force through the sundial to uh, to Yao Shunlan, I think. So that's what happened. Now he's weak and he can't regenerate as quick or something like that. I don't know. Essentially, what what Shunlan saw is that Shen Wei was in his kitchen, like with a knife, and his wrist was bleeding energy uh but for a moment it looked like he was actually cutting his hand uh so i don't know it was a weird moment but we have a whole thing with shun lan saying that he wasn't worthy of a sacrifice and shen wei saying he was it was great i loved it i love these two idiots um i love how much they love each other and all of that so um that's pretty much uh i think that's how it ends the episode and I think I was talking about that Chin and Shen Wei before because I didn't ever finish that. Um, essentially, Shen Wei tells him that he couldn't tell him the whole truth uh, about himself and what was happening, but that he gave him his word that uh, he had the best intentions for Shun Lan or something like that. And they, you know, the Chin made him pinky promise, which was adorable. So a lot of very cute things uh, happen in that episode. Uh, we also have, you know... Uh, something about with little Guo, but uh, to be honest, I, again, it was a week ago. It's very late now, so my memory is not what it should be. So well, let's just go to the episode. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. So let's go to episode uh, number 24, Ride Now. <laughs> 